Thank you for staying with us. We're still here on this beautiful Friday edition of Wake Up Nigeria. And you know, for Fridays, we like to bring you fashion. And today we have a very special one. I have with me Mr. Olajide Olawole Francis. Now he's popularly known as Zut because he is the creative director of the clothing brand Zut Collections. Now he is a fashion lover, a fashionista, and a fashion critic. So, I mean, the fashion, the passion for fashion definitely results in the zeal to learn more about fashion, style, which birth at his clothing brand, Zuch Collections, in 2018. Hi, sir. Welcome to Wake Up Nigeria. Thank you. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. I definitely Thank you. love what you're wearing. Thanks. I love the color. I think fabric is something that you get... But anyways, before we get in there, okay. tell, let's talk about the fashion journey for you. So where did it start and how did you find this, this passion? Okay, uh, if I want to be honest with you, it started almost from uh, going up from birth. Oh, from birth? Okay. Yeah, you almost. came out of your mother's No, 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 <laughs> no, not that. Okay, it's more like my parents are these fashionable people. Okay. They love fashion. We were like four guys, so usually they style us to wear the same fit. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So we're more like okay. called the Jackson Four, ah, four guys. Okay, okay. So that's where the love for passion came from. So we so go from, from there. Your mom, basically. Yeah, my mom, basically. Right. Yeah, okay. my mom. All mom. right. So I mean, when, when did you take it seriously and decide? Okay, you know what? I'm going to do this full time. Okay. Um, usually, I I studied. I'm a computer scientist. I studied. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so that was what I. That's my BSc. Okay. So it all started from. Uh, getting compliments from people. Mm. Oh, are you a fashion designer? Even when I wasn't one. Yeah. Oh, are you a fashion designer? I like your fit. So mm. I feel like, oh, really? <laughs> so usually I go to the market, <laughs> I get fit, I sell them. Yeah. Started making money from there. So at some point I felt like, so you know what? let's do this. Let's do this yeah. full time. And yeah, how is it? So like, when was that, 2018? Uh, officially 2018, but power 2016, 17. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So since 2018, we've been doing it officially, officially. Officially, yeah. All right. And then what's the journey been like being a fashion entrepreneur in Nigeria, especially considering uh, all the ups and downs with prices, markets, value, all that stuff? Okay, you know what? What, what comes with uh, what you have passion for? It's it doesn't. It's not. It's easy when you have passion for what you're doing. So. Usually I I love it, so I don't see it's not stressful for me. I love everything that comes with fashion. Okay. I love the stress. You like? You <laughs> like yeah, I just want to okay. create class, luxury, okay. because I believe everyone deserves class and luxury. Right. I mean, we're stepping into the ember. I mean, the the Christmas, the Yuletide season now, yeah. and a lot of people. You know how they say now. You know they say fashion. It's, you know they say tailors, mechanics. People have, a special, people have a special ah, place. No, no, no. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess you're one of those fashion designers changing that narrative. Yeah, definitely. definitely. So how do you definitely. deal with the pressure? of? I mean, I, I get the fact that you love it, but then again, mm. I'm sure in your years, you have dealt with one or two very stressful... Okay, so, so uh, what, I, what I do is I want to be as honest as possible with my clients. Okay. okay. I don't lie. And then, you know, the clients want this uh, reliability. They, yes. When they call you, even when you're not able, like even when there is any ups and downs, just try to communicate with your client. So what I, what I do is I pick their call or even power to, or if there's going to be a change in delivery time, I would let them know that, oh, okay. this is what is happening. Okay. So my clients, there's an understanding, there's always an understanding with my clients, that's always. That's very important. People should actually learn. So you're actually on that, on that promise and over deliver, right? Yeah. You're supposed to tell you, oh, it'll be ready tomorrow and then tomorrow you switch your phone. 